What's good, y'all? Welcome to my review for this week's episode of Joseph Bizarre Adventure. Diamond is unbreakable. Overall, phenomenal, I'm say, but uh, phenomenal episode. But I had one really major flaw in this episode around the end of it. With that was kind of weird because a rocket usually doesn't leave like giant plot holes like this. And it's right. Maybe it's just kind of something like me. Uh, but there was, but definitely around the end of the episode, there was something I found very. Strange, it just kind of had me scratching my head on why, you know, Jotaro didn't do this. But we will get to that when we get to that part in the end of the episode. But, anyway, so let's begin with this review. So we start this episode off, we got Jotaro, uh, or Jose, not, uh, Jotaro, <laughs> Josuke, I can't get, get, get the name right, Josuke, he was playing, he's playing like, you know, he's playing this video game, and then you got his mom, who was just <laughs> Kicking him, legit kicking him. Well, he's kind of just like sitting Indian style, playing like a, playing like an N64 like ripoff. It looks like an N64, but the controller doesn't look like an N64 controller. Anyway, so he's playing it like this little like a little like 2D shooter, and um, like you know the aerial, not the like you know bang 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 bang. You know what first person shooters like you know the the actual OG shooters like Galaga and shit. So he's playing the. Uh, his mom is just kicking and telling him to turn off the game and turn off the game. And she's he's like, No, mom, come on. What, five more minutes? Just this one. I'm almost at the good best part. Please, don't do this, mom. And he's like, The more you let, the more you stay, and the harder these kicks are gonna get. How long do you think you can hold out, Josuke? And then, like, you know, he keeps kicking him and kicking him. He kind of like lose. He ends up like losing, like, lose, I guess, I guess he, like, his eyes, he ends up, his eyes can't really can see the TV. Cause then, right when he gets back up, he notices that it's game over and he dies. He's like, no, damn it! He's like, now go do your homework. And would it kill you to wear your, take off your uniform? It's nighttime, you know. I'm like, and I like that Rocky put that in there because, and honestly, we haven't seen Josuke without his uniform at all throughout part four. So that was actually kind of interesting. I said, like, you know, take off your uniform because. I feel that was probably also Rocky throwing shade at other animes where you only see the the MC just wear one outfit throughout the entire series. So I liked that they added that. That was actually pretty cool. So then he goes to turn the TV uh turn the TV off, begin working on his homework. But then it magically turns itself back on. He's like, "What the hell? I thought I turned you off." And it's just like soap opera play. And you'll be like, "Oh, we can't be here." You know that stupid nonsense. Um, but then the voice, he's like, you know what, I told Jotaro that he hasn't left town yet, even after I gave him an explicit warning. And then, so then Chili Pepper comes out on top, on the, out, out from the screen, and he makes his appearance. And so Jotaro's like, oh, Chili Pepper, you're back, okay? So what do you want? And then he just starts, like, teasing him. Like, you know, like, uh, tr like, has to, like, poke it at me, like, come on, man, like, like, taunting him, not teasing, taunting him. That's the word I was looking for. Taunting him to, like, get a little closer to, like, you know, come on, man, hit me with your, with the, with, um, shining diamond. Come on, man, hit me. Make sure you get real close. And I mean real close. He's like, is that a hint of mockery I said to you? Heavens, no. I just want you to see how strong your stand is. So, and I don't think you'll put your back into it unless you're really close, man. He keeps saying, you know, come closer, really close. He keeps saying, get close, which is so obvious that he was going to, like, like suck him into the TV or something. Then, like, when he's just going on to, like, you know, come on, come on. He starts, like, taunting him and everything. Joe, 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 not Joe, Joe's kid just punches him. Just bling. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, there's one thing, uh, that's one thing you don't know. Star Platinum ain't got shit on me. And then just, like, goes, like, just, and then he just goes ham on him. He... And Joe's, uh, Joe, uh, Joe's kid ends up like tri tripping over like his N64, falling down. He, uh, Ch Chili Pepper ends up leaving, and his mom's like, you know, Joe's kid, what is going down here? He, she enters the room, she's like, well, Joe's kid, why did it sound like 20 tornadoes went through? And he's like, I don't know. Maybe you're hearing some. Hearing some. And the room is back to where he originally was before Joe, Joe's kid went, you know, went crazy. So, we then head over to. Uh, Okuyasu and Koichi, they're meeting, they're me, they're, they're me, I'm like this, like, little, like, uh, uh, like this forest area along with Josuke and Jotaro, to where Josuke tells them all about what happened with Chili Pepper and here and just pretty much to explain what is our next move. 
But before the Josuke um, actually t tells him, like tells him, like you know, that of course you know, Chili Power for Kenny Division, and I really did how uh, fun with this episode was on Okuyasu. This was definitely Okuyasu episode. A lot, we were getting a lot of character development, him really seeing how much the difference brother means to him, and we could definitely see him emoting more emotions, and like, hey Josuke, you know, like he. You can totally tell the development he's going through right now, which I like that Araki gave him this whole... This episode was... I like how he's been giving whole episodes to certain characters that developed them. I mean, jo I doubt Jotaro will probably get full episodes of just because we had Stardust Crusaders for that. Um, Joe's kid probably the same reason, because, you know, he is the MC, but... Like, Koichi, that man has got, like, what? Three episodes all to himself, which... You guys know every time there's a Koichi folks so I loved it. So I love that Okuyasa is also getting his hashtag. Will he get as many? Probably not. I also hope for more Koichi focused episodes than Okuyasu focused episodes. <laughs> Just because I love Koichi a lot more than I do love Okuyasu. But I do love Okuyasu. He's awesome. I love him. Anyway. So, you know, he tells him about the like, chill parents there. And he was and, and and like, and like he was like, I guess they had his hand on a branch. Because then we were like, <laughs> we look back at his hand and he like just cracked. Like just like completely like, you know, um, broke the branch in half. And has something. He's like, <sighs> he's visibly pissed off. And then, the, and then he's like, you know, what? you bastards, you, t you, ha you, why didn't you tell me the second it happened? And and, and then I like Koichi. I'm like, we have this little narration from Koichi where it says, like, you know, that you know that whenever he you mentioned Chili Pepper, the guy, of course, you know, he killed the man that killed his brother. He turns into a completely different person, which we see because we you know when we see Okuyasu, most of the time he's usually more happy, go lucky about it. But now we see him serious and visibly super pissed off. So. Uh, so he's like, you know, how can you blame him for what has happened? Yada yada yada. Josuke comes in there, tells him, I'm the one that told you not to t not told him not to tell you anything. And then he talks, and then he kind of like does like almost like some like an announcer does, where he says like, you know, we are going in like at the port of Morio at noon. You will be new meeting a stand. Uh, we will be meeting up with a stand user. His her his stand is called Herbert Purple. He is eighty, no ninety step, no seventy eight nine years old. He is Joseph Joestar. <laughs> and well, he doesn't say Joseph Joestar until like around the end, but. He very intensely tells him, like, you know, how he is missing all, all his teeth are fake, so he grumbles about missing his t boat steaks. He can can barely walk, so he uses a K. Like, it's almost like, <laughs> it's was, it was a weird kind of, like, almost wrestling-style introduction with it. Anyway, so he tells him, like, you know, that he's, like, you know, going to get, um, uh, that, uh, that they're going to get, like, they're going to meet him at the Port Memorial tomorrow at noon, and then, you know, he's, like, and he's also good that also he's going senile now, which... I don't know what that means because I'm not a doctor, but I, I forgot. I'll, I'll, I'll Google that later when I'm done recording this, so I know what the hell that means. But anyway, so he's going senile. I, I, I'm assuming that means he's going crazy. Um, you know, he's missing his. He's all his teeth are fake. Uh, he's like probably also probably has he probably has some memory issues as well because he's so old. He can't fight because he's in his not because he's essentially 80 years old at this point. So. Yeah, Joseph, Joseph is pretty much a shell of his former self, I guess you could say. Just with just his overall age, like he pretty much can't do anything other than probably just gravel and just moan and you know just talk in probably incoherent sentences. We'll have to wait and see on that from when we see him most likely next week. Which I'm definitely looking forward to seeing Joseph again, especially after we learn the info that Joseph is a bit of a player. Still a bit, even at his older age, he's a player with, of course, another you know, fairy hat with Josuke's mom. So I'm curious on where all that is going to lead. So after he's done introducing him, without full fledged just saying his name, Chili Pepper shows up from from uh, from Okuyasu's car battery. Uh, or the, the battery in his motorcycle. He's like, zoom, zoom, zoom. well, at the Port of Morio at noon, well, I'll make sure I kill that old fogey right then. Zoom, zoom, zoom. He goes off, and he's like, shit, we need to go. And, uh, and Kuita's like, Josuke, like, throw a rock at him. And then Okuyasu's like, no, he's mine. And he, so he uses his stand to cut through space, and pretty much letting him to teleport. So that he can get right by, and then he just sits on top of the bike, and where he like swipes at him again, he misses, and for some reason the bike is still completely centered, like it's still driving completely normally, even though no one is really steering it, you know, you got Chili Pepper, the dude's just hanging off of it by his tail, and Okuyasu's just chilling on the, on the center of it, just standing up. 
how the bike hasn't fallen over I'm surprised maybe he's low key balancing it while he's standing there I don't know but anyway uh, he says like you know, oh hey you missed with that sluggish right head of yours like when I said I was gonna make something disappear I was talking about the bike and so we see that they cut the front wheel of the bike off, sending it flying. Okiyaz manages to get off and lands rather gracefully. Koei, um, Chili Pepper lands with the bike. He can't really go anywhere because the nearest power lines are 100 meters away. I do not know how long that how my how long that is in yards, but I'm pretty sure it's still pretty far away as we can see. Uh, from the town, and then and then we see Josuke Nils kind of like uh, running over there to get over to Okuyas to take him out, and so and then we really see Okuyas just the voice acting here is just phenomenal. Like from here, like Okuyas, who's English voice actor, did an amazing job this in this week's episode. And so he tells me, you know, tell me who where you stand, who you stand, where the user is, and where he lives, and I'll spare your life. He's like, hmm, you'll spare my life, huh? You're rather composed for someone that should be fuming right now, and that just, and it's just nothing filled with piss and vinegar, hmm? And he says, you know what? To be honest, I hope you don't tell me so I can beat the living shit out of you! And he's like, there's the real you! And so, so then these guys kind of go out for a bit. We see, we've heard to see this difference, like, you know, how Okuyasu is actually really slow with that right hand, because Chip Pepper manages to dodge it a good number of times and get him, and get Okuyasu with a couple hits. But, like, he says, like, you know, hmm. And, but then we know that Josuke and the others are running up toward, uh, running towards him. He's like, okay, I gotta hurry this up. We then see that Okuyasu is actually right on top of him, because, as we know, he can sweat through Spain, which pretty much makes him teleport, and then lands on his head, and then, like, does, like, I guess, like, you know, uh, a down drop kick, I guess you would say. Pretty much where he just fall, where, uh, where he managed to get land, where, uh, where, um... Chili Pepper lands, uh, pretty much lands face first. Okuyasu then just kicks the living shit out of him with his, uh, with his stand. Yeah, I forget what his stand's called. And just kicks it a good, like, 20 times at a super fast speed, like. And, but then he manages to, but then Chili Pepper manages to get out of the way. And where then, where then we see that his, that his charge is starting to decrease. He's getting a little bit slower. It's like, and he's kind of like turning losing his golden touch, is more turning more brownish. Like, he's almost burnt in a way. And then Joe, Joe Turo says, Okuyasu, stop! You know, he's where he already defeated him. Leave him alive so we can interrogate him to know where his stand uses. And then we kind of get like a bit of a mind game between, like, I guess you would say an inner chess match between Okuyasu and Chili Pepper. The pretty much just, you know, where Okuyasu is wondering, like, should I believe his bluff? Because Chili Pepper sounds like, you know, like, oh man, like, you know, you're, you know, you're pretty fast, but like, how do you know Matthew really defeated? For all I know, I could be faking this, and I'm just going for Josuke, for uh, Joe Tro to show, so I can just take his head. Are you going to kill me? Like, he's pretty much just trying to, like, egg him on to try to get him to, like, you know, make a move, uh, to make some moves on. So they kind of go have this little back and forth where they're like, you know, stop spitting bullshit. He keeps trying to tell, like, you know, oh, I could be, I could be all right. I could not make your choice. Then we got a bit of Oki office just like, and I like the background has, like, a spider's web on it. I thought that was actually a nice little touch from David Productions showing us, us. Uh, Okuyasu's mice. I like that little. I like that little touch they added. Um, so they got. So then the Okuyasu's just running. You know, should I wait? Should I wait for Jos Josuke or or Jotaro, or should I just you know finish him here and now? And this is where we get to the part of the episode where we're just having scratching my head. I'm like, Araki, what's up, man? You don't really do this, man, in JoJo. So, I mean, I guess every writer has their off days, but. I mean, I, I mean, Rocky never really does this. I don't know, maybe this is just more of a me problem that I'm just like, that I'm looking at this the wrong way. But, Joe, but uh, anyway, Okuyasu decides, you know what, fuck it, I'm gonna kill this asshole right here, there. So he charges at him. And he's like, hmm. But then, oh, then Joe Tro starts charging at him. But Okuyasu goes in there for attack, slices him in half, but, and he's like, ah. But, and then we see the power lines are being, that there's actually underground power lines. They have been exposed, allowing Cherry Pepper to recharge her. But the problem I have with this episode is why didn't Jotaro use Star Plan with time manipulation? Here. Like when he said, Don't, Oskuyasu, stop, no. Like, right, he's charging to make the move. Now, granted, we know that, Oku, that Jotaro cannot use the time manipulation as well as he probably did in part three when he was fighting Dio, where he could slow, slow, uh, slow down time for like maybe three, four seconds, I think it was. And we know he can still use the attack. It's just not as good as this because we saw him use it in the first episode when he fought off against Josuke and you know, di and um, Shine Diamond. So why didn't he use it here? 
if he was really trying to stop Okuyasu, why didn't he use it? Like, even if he can always stop time for maybe like a second to a half a second, that still should be enough time for him to like, you know, at least, I don't know, get in the ring for Star Python to like punch him out of the way or something. Like, am I the only one that sees this? Did anyone else feel like this or is this just me? Because I feel like this was something that, that was kind of like, this is almost like an oversight on a Rocky's part that he didn't have... I mean, if now I'm not saying now if you still want him, like he used it a little bit too late, and he's and okay, also then managed to get the attack in, then okay, we are good there. But we didn't even see Joe Troll even try to use Star Plot of time manipulation to, because um, he like because we know he hasn't completely lost it. It's just nowhere near as good as it was in part three, so he should still at least do stop time for maybe a half a second to a whole second. You know, is it just me or does anyone else feel like that? I don't know. Tell me that down below. Tell me that down below in the comment section. Anyway, so uh, so he may so uh, Chili Pepper manages to recharge, um, ch recharge his legs, regrow. He's like, oh, you know, I was almost dead there. A few more seconds and I would have died. But thanks to you showing up, but thanks to you, you're exposing those underground or underground electrical cables. I'm all free, Bob it. And so he like, and then they go, and then he goes right back on the attack. Cuts off Okuyasu's right arm, or just like, just cuts off, it's like, yeah, blood starts spewing everywhere. Okuyasu's like, ah! ah the man's writhing in pain and everything. Uh, chili Pepper grabs him, takes him underneath the electric cables. Koichi's crying, he's like, Okuyasu! No! Okuyasu! Like, he's, like, the man's just like, no. He's like, crap, we have lost Okuyasu. And then, you got Jotaro Kojoski acting super nonchalant about all this, like, okay, what should we do next? They're like, they don't even care that Okuyasu just got taken away. They're more concerned about trying to get over to Joseph to get, uh, to, you know, to meet up with Joseph. And oh yeah, and uh, Koichi's like, why are you guys so chill about this? Then we just thought Okuyasu. And he says, and uh, Jos Josuke says, you know, he must have a guardian angel behind him because him losing his arm was the biggest blessing to us. Because as we know, Shine Diamond can regenerate body, can uh, can like you know regen, can like you know. Um, put stuff together and shape shift. So he just touches Okuyasu's arm, which brings Okuyasu back to him and reattaches it. And I like the little touch they added when Chili Pepper was carrying him out when he left. He was like, huh? What the hell? I like the little touch they added. So then they're, they're then Joseph and uh, Josuke are back to time, but like, you know, okay, what is our next movement? And Koichi's still left in shock on how they're acting so nonchalant about this when Okuyasu's still in shock, and you know, he's like, damn it, damn it, I lost, you know, he's still pissed off and frustrated on what happened, they got captured, and then he also just let him get away, but, yeah, and so they just kind of leave while, ok while Koichi's still in shock as well as of um, Okuyasu and like how they're how Joseph and Josuke pretty much just don't give a shit about what what just transpired. They're more concerned trying to get over uh, to Joseph. So then we end this week's episode with uh, with one like the like the captain of the ship saying like you know oh we're almost at Morio uh, we're almost there Morio uh, Joseph and we end this episode with a shot of old Joseph. We still haven't seen his face yet. We just see his uh, overall just outfit he's wearing. So and that's what the episode ends. So overall. This was a damn good episode, in my personal opinion. Minus that one little plot hole or just head scratching moment where we see that Josuke, that Jotro didn't use Star Plus time manipulation in order, to, in order to stop Okuyasu from doing what he did to Chili Pepper to let him get him away. But I don't know, maybe just a rocket just wrote himself into a corner or something. I don't know what that whole scene was about because it just felt like. Why don't you just use Star? Why didn't you use Star Plus time manipulation? Uh, time ma manipulation to stop Okuyasu. Like now, if he did that and missed, like I said, if he did that and missed, then okay, we're good. He at least tried. Then, but when he didn't even bother, I'm just like, why didn't you use it? Like, uh, I don't know. But that's just me. So you know, our animation great. The voice acting was without the best part of this week's episode. Okuyasu's English voice actor just did a uh, phenomenal job. Complete spot on. Josuke's English voice actor was great. Uh, Koichi was great with the moments he had, but definitely Okuyasu. Okuyasu's English voice actor did an amazing job, so props to him. And so overall, I give this episode a 9.5 out of 10. Really looking forward to whatever next week's story, because hopefully then we'll finally get to see uh, Joseph make his triumphant return to Jojo after we last saw him at the end of part three. 
I am definitely hyped to see what Joseph is like nowadays as an old senile man. That so that should be mildly entertaining to watch, especially with especially knowing JoJo. So that should be entertaining to watch. And yeah, look forward to see what next week has to offer. So over so hope you all enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did, subscribe if you're new, follow me on Instagram and Twitter if you feel like it. Links down in the description box below. And as always, get back for more. See you guys next time.